Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm home again. Today we are going to take a look at the... Alright, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am Hall. If you are a first timer here, welcome. I do a lot of travel and product review videos. Um, I'm doing a lot of Rivian review videos right now because I got mine and I'm super pumped and I like talking about it. But I also do weird things like a car air dryer or, you know, traveling to Cancun and where we stay. So if you're into any of that, certainly uh, check me out. Uh, I love doing them. So this one's going to be really around the Rivian tonneau cover. I want to see how waterproof this cover actually is. So we're going to do three different scenarios. We are going to do a rain type of scenario. We are going to do a pressure washer scenario. And then we're going to do a bucket scenario where we're just literally tossing a giant bucket full of water onto the tonneau cover. That one you really shouldn't run into that often, but I want to do it anyway just to see how it holds up. So I only have two concern areas, I would say, with the tonneau cover. Near the tailgate, uh, there's like two kind of, ho not holes, but they're they're obviously built and constructed that way. So I want to make sure and see how it holds up in those two corners. Um, besides that, I think that's it. We'll uh, I'll set up the camera, get everything set up, and we'll kind of go about it. The very beginning of the video, you saw a clip. I did pre-record. I already had an outdoor video set up for this, and it shouldered like I was underwater, which is kind of funny because this is a waterproofing video. So I'm actually recording this after I did all that, so I know all of the secrets already. <laughs> but that's okay. I wanted to do it again because obviously I can't put up. What happened was my road mic flipped over in my shirt, and it sounded like I was underwater. So here we are. I'm redoing the intro again. So I will put the clips together, and we will catch you right now. All right, so first thing I want to prove, and I have terrible lighting. First thing I want to prove to everyone today is that my bed is dry. So we're going to start out with a completely dry bed. Like I said, we'll do some light sprinkling hose, then we'll do some pressure washing hose, and then we'll do a full blown bucket just to kind of reenact some normal rain downpour car wash situation. So that's what we're going to do. So let me prove to you that we have a dry bed. All right. So it's looking like you can see that it looks like in every corner we have a little hard to see in this corner because of the darkness but the entire bed is dry all right let's close this up and uh get to the water Right, quick prove that the tunnel cover is completely closed. Go from this view. You can see tight seal. The only places I see, as you can see here, these are my only places of concern. But my try to get the GoPro out of there, but right in the corners, it looks like there's a tiny gap. But we shall see. Making sure you see that's all closed. <laughs> First test. Normal shower hose. Normal rainfall. That's what we're gonna try. Peter wants a drink, which I will get him. Okay, let's check out the results. As you can see, got a good amount of normal rain water. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so a couple of drops coming down, but that's just from the water coming off the pump cover. You're gonna get a lot there. Ooh, it even held, held that. So all that water captured right along that edge uh, didn't fall into the bed. So don't know if they thought of that, but pretty genius. Just a couple drips, but that's mostly from, that's just from the, uh, so interesting, we have some over here. You can see in that gapped area, which is right here, it kind of rolls down here and rolls into this crack here and then kind of rolls down the bed. So 
nothing major here and this side is actually a lot better it doesn't look as wet so interesting you can see water coming in here that's where the plugs are uh, they're obviously uh, sealed I don't know if you can see that and they're sealed with those rubble is rubber but you know there is water coming down that gap right here so maybe falling in behind or coming out uh, from there that's that's kind of interesting I don't know how that water uh, got back there I can't see I'm not sure so heads up there not the same problem on the other side uh, but we do have some water on the electrical outlet side so heads up all right we're uh we're closed back up we're gonna try the pressure washer approach we'll see how that goes Check it out. All right, just finished the pressure washer approach. Got the tailgate. It's rolling. Still looking really, really dry. Just spots coming off the tunnel cover. Other than that, looks really good. Awesome. Made it through the pressure washer. Now we'll try the bucket. All right, last test. Vader just bumped into the hose and scared himself. <laughs> last test, we're going to drop an entire bucket. Chemical Brothers, I'm not sponsored by them, but I use their stuff. Chemical Brothers size bucket, which you'll see. I'm gonna stand on the, uh, the side of the gear tunnel because uh, that holds, should hold my weight. So we'll test that out too. But anyway, bucket challenge, ugh. I just got myself soaked. <laughs> All right, we'll take a look inside. Uh, so just as a heads up, I got the, I spilled some obviously on my leg and then it also fell on the uh, gear tunnel door. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like as well when that gets, you know, gets water on it. So let me show you that quick. See, so I spilled quite a bit of water here, slash on myself, slash all around and everything pretty much beads off the plastic. Uh, this looks like it's, you know, reasonably dry to just get some water in there. So I probably should have let that dry, but heads up that that will go in there. So I did get a bit of water. Let's pull that out. So you can see here a uh, bit of collection in the bottom of this, of the gear tunner door, but most, you know, that was when I opened the door. So I don't think there was a lot of water in there. So I'm gonna let that dry out. You can see Vader wants to maybe drink it out for me. Okay, so that's what the gear tunnel looks like. Let's, uh, let's open up the back. Okay, so quite a bit more water in here this time. As you can see, a uh, big splash in the middle, not sure where that came from, but did not really pass the bucket test. So, are you really ever gonna have a full blown explosion of water like that? Probably not. Uh, you know, even in driving in heavy rain, it's, it's, it's really flowing backwards. So I'm mean, gonna have that issue, but you can see Quite a bit of water inside the bed with the quote unquote bucket water challenge so that's what that looks like we'll let that dry out all right so in conclusion tunnel cover normal use i think it's going to be good going to be waterproof there was water on the test with the straight full bucket of water dumped right onto the tunnel cover how often is that going to happen probably not a lot 
So not too concerned. It did great with the pressure washer. So normal washes, uh, normal rainfall, I don't think you'll have any problem with. I think your gear won't get wet in the back, um, especially if you're carrying suitcases that aren't like hard covers that water can get into, you know, soggy. Nobody wants soggy clothes by the time they get somewhere. But uh, it was water that got exposed through the, it seemed like it went through the tunnel cover. I don't know, I'm gonna have to like slow it down and take a look at, at uh, what the difference there, but. straight large bucket of water you know it could have went down those those individual corner pieces and maybe you know splashed into the middle it was a lot of water and it was a direct hit so wanted to do that challenge i wanted to see how far i could kind of take that but i think you're good normal washes i think you're good normal rainfall unless you're planning on dunking the back end in which you know it shouldn't no tonic cover is going to keep that out anyway so that's all I have. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was informational. Once again, if you're into travel reviews or product reviews or review on specific things, uh, certainly keep checking me out. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all the comments. If you have any questions on the Rivion or on any of my videos, leave them in the comments. I answer all of my comments and I will hope to do that for the foreseeable future. So thank you. We'll catch you on the next video.